this is Gary Moore. And you out there are about to enter on a voyage that may well improve your odds for survival someday. A course in civil defense. Now, in a sense, it's going to be a voyage through the pages of this manual, the one that you have with you. It's a voyage that will give you knowledge. Knowledge that may save your life. But when it comes to the hazards of radioactive fallout, knowledge is protection. You have just seen a nuclear explosion on film. Now, hopefully, it'll be the only way that you will ever witness one. But we have to be realists. You must be one or you wouldn't be here. And realistically, we know that a nuclear attack, live, not film, is possible. Now, the purpose of this course and of this manual is to help save lives if a nuclear attack should come to America. We live in a world in ferment, fighting or the threat of fighting is almost constantly with us somewhere in the world. The critical area may be obscure and unpronounceable to the American ear. It may be far away, or as close as a few miles from the shores of Florida. But wherever it is, it is a ticking time bomb out of which world conflict can erupt. That is why we appropriate vast sums of money and devote so much effort to our military forces, both the striking power of our missiles, Polaris submarines, far-ranging airborne infantry, and the defensive power, the ability to ascertain and withstand attack and be capable of fighting back to ultimate victory. Tied in with the total defense picture is civil defense. The responsibility for civil defense rests jointly with our federal government and the states, the community in which you live, and you yourself. Yes, your responsibility too. The responsibility to come up through the gap to the nuclear age. For indeed, a new age did begin when the atom was split beneath those bleachers in Chicago, the first nuclear weapon detonated in secrecy in New Mexico, and then as a drastic, decisive step in the defeat of a wartime enemy. The reaction was immediate. Here was a new weapon, a terrifying weapon, a weapon against which many thought there was no possible defense. Throughout history, it has always been the same story with all new weapons of warfare. Overwhelmed by the impact of a new kind, a new order of destruction, the first swing of the pendulum is to leave the public terrified and dazed. When gunpowder first burst on the arena of warfare, it seemed the ultimate weapon, as did the introduction of poisonous gas, the power to attack from beneath the sea, the ability to deliver destruction to distant military targets. But unreasoning fear was only the first swing of the pendulum because it was a fear of the unknown. As knowledge was gained, the weapon lost its terror. Dugouts and breastworks, armor plate, and many other means of defense coped with the once unassailable supremacy of gunpowder. The impact of the submarine was blunted by the development of detection techniques, radar, sonar, and guided depth bombs. As the nature of chemical warfare was understood, it became possible to devise a system of warning and defense. For as knowledge develops, defense catches up with offense. What once was a terrifyingly new weapon of war is brought down by a product of man's research, thinking, engineering. By the new knowledge, he puts to use to solve the new problems of the new weapon. And so it is with the nuclear age. Man's study, his research and experimentation, even his sacrifice, have pointed the way to a substantial degree of protection against the forces which only a few years ago were thought to be absolutely all-powerful. There is still much to learn. Research goes on. But you owe it to yourself, your family, and your country to take advantage of what is known. Fact must replace fiction. Knowledge must replace ignorance. That's why you're here, to gain the knowledge to answer all important questions, questions like these. What exactly is this thing we fear, this radiation? 
Is it an uncontrollable force before which everything is destroyed? Or, devastating as it is, can it be met, lived with, even conquered? We understand the power of blast and fire, but this threat of radiation, are we ready to take advantage of our allies, time, distance, shielding? Only knowledge can help us to use these allies which can save our lives. We know something of the military steps our government is taking. But just how much do we know about what has been done, what is being done, for non-military defense? What is the shelter program? And why does it loom so large in the minds of men who know? What should you know? What should you do to provide prudent insurance for yourself and those you love? That's what the course in which you have enrolled is all about. It will lead the way toward the answer to those significant questions, and many more immediate ones, too. The initial life-saving actions that will have to be taken by individuals, families, communities. Now, will you be able to perform these actions? Will you know what to do? The course you're starting, and your manual, will furnish a great deal of that knowledge, much of which, it is fair to say, you probably don't have now. Just for, um, well, certainly not for fun, but just to see how you stand now, here it is, a short civil defense quiz. The alert sounds. First of all, do you know what to do? Is a plan all set to go? A plan made in advance for you, your family, your loved ones? Do you know what this signal means? And if you hear the take cover signal, what do you carry with you when going into a shelter? Special foods, flashlight batteries, books, baby's ointment? Is there a plan? Is there knowledge to enable you to make decisions quickly, specific decisions? Example, uh, is there anything that you can do to make contaminated fruits and vegetables edible? Do you know? A victim of radiation sickness, can anyone catch radiation sickness from him? Do you know? When is it safe to leave the shelter? And how do you know it's safe? Who is in charge of the fallout shelter? By what authority? How has he been trained to take over? Who, how, what, why, where? A flood of questions could be aimed at you in this civil defense quiz. Are you sure of the answers? Answers that may well improve your odds for survival someday? Well, you've taken the right first step by enrolling in the civil defense adult education course. Knowing what to do and where to go in the event of an emergency, this must be part of your civil defense plan. You must know your local civil defense plan, particularly those emergency actions the general public must take in a civil defense emergency. You need knowledge to make decisions. Knowledge plus the necessary effort will provide protection. In the pages of this manual and in the classes that you will attend, you will find it, earn it, the knowledge that is protection in the days and weeks ahead of you.